Good morning. I'm going to do the messages for today, which is Sunday, March 10th. And this is a general reading for all signs. Let's see, so we have Five of Pentacles, which is temporary hardship, and then Seven of Swords, which is something didn't turn out the way that you thought it was going to. And then we have the Hermit, which is also a Virgo, taking time out to look within and think about things. We have the Page of Wands, which is there is good news coming in, and then the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning in finances. So maybe you didn't get that job offer that you had been waiting for. It didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to, but you'll be getting some good, oh boy. Ugh. I hate when they fall on the floor. All right, so we'll take these that popped out. We have the Six of Pentacles, which is sharing, sharing with what you have. We have the Leo card, which is the Strength card, and then we have the Four of Wands. So, I feel like this is saying that right now you feel like you're in a tough spot because things didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to and you need to take some time out to think about things and sort through your thoughts. But that I feel like in the near future there's going to be an offer coming in um, that's going to have a new beginning for you financially and you just have to stay strong and sharing is maybe sharing with your friends, sharing with, I know that the pentacles is money, but I feel like it also could represent just sharing your feelings or your thoughts about how you're feeling and what you've been going through lately. <coughs> and the four of wands means stability. So I feel like if you feel like things are sort of in chaos right now or, you know, things just didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to right now, that things are going to turn around for you, that you're going to get some good news coming in. Pages are messengers because this is good news coming in quickly. You could get an email, a text. Is that, I think. That's what came out yesterday, too. And like I, I think I said yesterday that I feel like it's within a two-week time span, so maybe that's why the message is repeating itself. If it hasn't happened yet, then... Look at that. Lilies. I know we got lilies yesterday. Lilies is peace and calm. Could be a long-term relationship. I feel like because this is the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like it has to do with money or a job or financial reasons. And then this Pentacles came out. But, like I said, this is a general reading and everyone has their own situation. The compass, I think we got that one yesterday too. That means you're headed in the right direction. You're headed in the right direction towards a new beginning.
And you just need to stay strong. If you, you know, you might be frustrated right now and you might think, oh, this isn't going to happen for me. But you have to stay strong and think positive. And we have the tower. So the tower. The tower to me the way this picture is depicted is that it's dark on this side and then it's sunny on this side. And I feel like you're going from the dark where you're frustrated and things aren't working out to the sunny side where you have the new beginning. And maybe the hermit is saying that you need to just continue to take some time out and to work on yourself Let's see, I feel like one more Lenormand. The star card, yay. The star card. The star card is guidance, healing, a new path, and success. That's what I'm saying. With the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. I feel like you might like I said before, that you might be frustrated that things aren't working out the way that you wanted to, but I believe that everything happens for a reason. And maybe a path that you thought that you were supposed to be on, that that really wasn't the one that you, you're supposed to be on. That's not the one that's going to work for you. And that certainly happened to me. I mean, I thought things were heading in a certain direction in my life quite a few times. I'm like, oh, this is where that's going to go. And then things went to the left. So, but I'm definitely happier now. So, and we'll never know what would have happened if I stayed on the old path. Again, we got this one yesterday. Judgment, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. And I feel like that, again, has to do with the hermit looking within taking time out for yourself to think about what you really want out of life what's going to be the best direction for you I find that and I was thinking about that this morning is that Instead of trying to fight all these changes that are happening, just try to relax and to think positive and go with it and work with the changes instead of trying to fight it because it just makes it harder. And then we got the chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. So I feel like that goes with the strength card. Stay strong and stay focused. So, I f so again, I feel like it didn't turn out the way that you wanted to, but stay strong and stay focused. Move ahead. You're headed in the right direction, okay? You have to believe that. And like I said, don't fight it. Try and embrace it and learn all you can from it. You know, whether it's a relationship that didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to, that just means that there's something better waiting for you, or it's a job that, you know, you didn't get that you thought you were going to get, that you thought was a perfect job and that didn't work out or you didn't hear from them. That just means that there's something better waiting for you, okay? So you just have to look within, do some soul searching, still take some time out for yourself. You know, this is the weekend. But there's going to be some good news coming in soon. You have to believe that. And then you'll have the peace and the harmony and the sunshine and that things will get better. And if you need to share with your friends, then share with your friends if that helps you to feel better. And like I said yesterday, I said, you know, that says diary right there. So write things down if you need to. Get them out of your head or write down the positive things so you can focus on those positive words have that vision board if you need to 
do what you need to do to keep you charging forward with confidence, staying strong and focused. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.